This year, the Trafalgar Address was delivered by former First Sea Lord, Admiral Lord West, who was on the rock as part of the literary festival. And in his address, he didn't pull any punches. Speaking of Gibraltar's strategic importance, he said it allowed the UK to be a thousand miles closer to the action whenever it's on a military campaign. Well, Gibraltar still has strategic significance. Uh, there are nine uh, major choke points, maritime choke points in the world, um, like the Straits of Gibraltar, Suez Canal, Malacca Straits Channel. There are nine of them, and this is one of them. So one out of nine. And those choke points are crucial to maritime trade. Maritime trade are the sinews of our global village. Uh, the wealth of the globe, the security of the globe, depends on them. Uh, and therefore, having uh, this harbour, this capability here, right on one of the choke points, is still very, very important. A thousand miles is a long way. And I've always thought of Gibraltar as, as I, I, the way I describe it, is a thousand miles down threat. Every time I've gone to fight anybody, and I've done that three times, I've always had to come through Gibraltar on my way to fight them, and it's a thousand miles closer. And whenever you leave Britain, you always forget something, or something's broken. When you get to Gibraltar, you can get it sorted and bring on ammunition, bring on stores, get something fixed, and head on to where you're going. So, it, you know, it is, it is crucial. The former first sea lord said Britain can't afford to turn its back on Europe and emphasized Britain's military defense role in the continent. He criticized the downsizing of military assets and described this as unsustainable in challenging times. Lord West spoke of the Russian threat and said he was shocked that Spain, a NATO ally, had allowed Russian ships to refuel in its ports. However, Lord West said there was some good news. With the development and deployment of the new battle groups in 2020, the UK has signaled its commitment with power projection, and Gibraltar will be an essential part of those plans. He said he expects the Queen Elizabeth, one of the two new supercarriers, to pay its first visit to Gibraltar by 2018.